Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another antique booth tour for you. This is being filmed at the end of March, kind of right at the beginning of April actually, and there I am, 37 weeks pregnant. I'm so tired that I just decided to do a voiceover for this video instead of speak and film. It's just too much to do nowadays, but I'm feeling pretty good. Hopefully there'll be a baby here soon. Anyway, let's just get right into the booth tour. So my booth um, in today's video is located at My Treasure House in Edwardsville, Illinois. I take you guys through here about once a month just so you can see how we have rearranged things. And maybe you can catch some of the things that have sold and also see some things that I've featured in some recent DIY upcycling videos. Like everything you see on the tabletop there I've actually done in my past couple of videos. So the pictures were one of my Goodwill hauls that I painted with chalk paint. They look so pretty, but they're still here, which, you know, is part of the game. Just kind of waiting to see who your buyer is going to be. So I'm charging $25 for the basket. I think I have like $9.95 on the, the pink picture. So the basket picture is $25 and the pink picture is $9.95. And then I'm asking $32 for this one the glass cloche with the wood base and that was from my most recent DIY upcycling project video. That was a really fun project because that cloche actually came with a different cake stand so go back and you can see how that looked. Um, I'll link that video below and I'll try to do a little link up above also. We have a little antique suitcase down there and that table is still for sale. I think the booth has changed pretty much since you guys have seen it last. We've had a ton of sales in March. If you watched my February recap, you know that February was a terrible sales month for me. But March has almost been the complete opposite. It's almost been one of my best months ever. And I've been doing this business for about three years now. So for it to be the best month is a pretty big deal. Um, so we've definitely gone through some furniture and some through some smalls. But I do still have a home sign there that I've made quite a while ago. I'm super surprised that's still here. Um, down on the floor there though, you might have seen, those are the cutting boards that my parents are making out of old wood. I think there's two in the booth right now. So those are really cool and rustic. I think you'll get another view of it right here. So down on the floor there, my dad cut the cutting board shape or breadboard shape and they decorated it with the twine and the greenery. So those are really, really cool addition to some of the things that we're offering here. We've never made those before. And we're asking, I think it says 68 there for that large. It's very large, maybe 65. But that would be such a cool, rustic statement piece in somebody's kitchen. I'm surprised I still have this green dresser. It's 160 and I painted the top with a gingham. I don't know why it hasn't sold yet because I think it's really cute. I love the natural wood drawers. So that's a piece that's just kind of sitting here waiting for that perfect buyer. I don't really want to go lower on the price because I think a custom piece like this, um, I mean, I feel like 160 is a good price. There are some more items there. We mix in some antiques with a lot of handmade goods. So you see that picture I made in a recent DIY video. Um, and then this screen you guys haven't seen yet because I put this in after my last antique booth tour. I have the canisters still there. We love to mix in a lot of greenery. You're gonna notice that, especially for springtime. So that larger picture, picture I'm asking $30 for. That's one that I painted myself and I made that stamp out of clay and white wax everything. I think it looks super pretty. And then you guys saw me do these canisters also. They used to be like a shiny navy blue. And I'll try to make sure I link all the videos below so that you guys can go back and catch up on those upcycling projects. That green iron metal stand back there. It is so cool. I'm not even sure I should be selling it. I painted that in a recent video also, but it's just like the best stand ever. I love it so much. So if that doesn't sell soon, it might just have to come back home with me. We'll see. 
This is a new piece you guys haven't seen yet. Um, it is a secretary desk that my mom painted in the Dixie Belle paint color called Collard Greens. If you're new to my channel, we do sell Dixie Belle paints. We have two places you can buy it from. One is our physical location at Third Street Market in Greenville, Illinois. And we also sell on Etsy. So if you are not local to us, you can buy Dixie Belle paints and products from us on our Etsy site. I'll be sure to give you a link for that below. And if you use the code GOVINTAGE in all caps, you do get free shipping over $35. That little mail holder I recently made in a DIY video also. And we're asking $275 for that antique secretary desk. I love when we mix like the natural wood tones with the paint. I think that desk turned out so pretty. And again, that's the collard greens color. So it's a really dark kind of olivey green. This is our last typewriter desk that we have. We have had two others. One I ended up taking home with me and the other one sold recently. As you can see, I still have some of my signs and um, other antique upcycling still in here. I don't know why they haven't sold yet. Um, and then here's another one of those big cutting boards that my dad and mom made. I think those are most of my dad's projects. And he's, I don't know if you can tell what that is, but there's like a big plate of steel there to just kind of add to the rusticness. It's a really, really cool piece. And this is a chest of drawers that my mom brought in. Now that's the Dixie Bell farmhouse green. So it's a very, very light green really pretty color it actually surprised us we weren't sure how we were going to feel about it but it turned out really cute and then this filing box i turned into kind of a lunch box that you could put on your kitchen shelf that is from a recent video um, i always have other projects thrown in here too that i don't share with you guys on youtube so that's kind of why i like to take you through the booth because i'm actually working on things all the time i don't always have the time to film what i'm doing at the same time i love how that little uh recipe box turned out though that's sitting right on top of that and this chest was really beat up when my parents first bought it my dad really worked hard to get the like all the old veneer off the drawer front so now they're nice and clean and smooth and that wood just looks so pretty and it has that original hardware that's so cool and then we still have this um, very old primitive buffet We're flipping around now to our other booth. We do have two spaces in this store. That buffet I've had for a few weeks now, I'm just looking for that right buyer. But our big statement piece right now is definitely this amazing chalkboard. This of course used to be an old dresser mirror um, that was repainted into a chalkboard. I didn't actually paint this one. I have done several of these in the past and they're really good sellers for me, but this one, I found from a local store that's sadly shutting down and it's actually never been for sale there so I've looked at it for years and now that they're closing they did sell it and I had to take it straight to the booth because if I brought it into my house I know I would have kept it which would have probably been fine <laughs> but I really need to be selling things and not just hoarding all the things so I'm asking 240 for this I think to something 230 240 I'm having a hard time seeing that uh, and it's just absolutely beautiful I have this basket from a recent video that I did for 20 and just some other smalls that I've made or upcycled I love how that camera picture came out
I hope you guys like how we've mixed together kind of the old and the new and then the handmade plus all the greenery and the antique furniture. Um, it's definitely something that's kind of come together for us over time. It's a look that works and somehow my mom and I are able to both pull together items that look good together. It can be a little tricky sharing a booth space with someone but it works out for us. We have a really great time and then over outside of our booth in a different booth space just to help out uh, and fill the space of the store. My mom brought this steamer trunk in and it is just in wonderful condition. All the drawers still work. She even replaced like some of the leather handles. Um, so it's in really great shape now. I think it's 125 on there. And then before or after I filmed this, my mom put in this blue dresser. And I just thought that was so pretty. I wanted to make sure I showed you guys. Um, I think she used a mixture of Haint Blue and Dixie Belle Blue, if you want to look online and try to match those colors. Plus the white wax and the nice natural wood top. It's so beautiful. And that's kind of everything. This is kind of what our booth looks like if you are walking around from the back of the store. I normally show you guys what it looks like from the front, but this is just a new perspective for you. Now, if you're interested in hearing more about my antique booth, I've done a lot more tours before this one, and I've also been doing a sales recap once a month so you guys can hear if things sell for me and how much profit I make. Like I said, February was pretty dismal. I almost didn't even share that video, but March has been so much better. So I'm gonna have a ton of sales to share with you soon and a much better profit margin for sure for this month. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I really appreciate you spending some time with me and shopping through my booth today. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I would love to help you out if I can. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.